in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to create this 8-bit text in Inkscape so let's get started open up your Inkscape and go to view check page grid is on and go to file document properties change the orientation from portrait to landscape and change the units from millimeters to pixels I'm gonna make it 1920 by 1080 and go to the grids tab and change this number from 5 to 8 since we are doing the 8-bit text effect and I'm gonna change this color to dark so that we can see the grids clearly and let's zoom in quite a bit until you see this square this big squares really clearly and uh, so make sure that you have snapping turned on and uh, snap nodes paths and handles is on also make sure that you have snap cusp nodes including rectangle corners on start with rectangles and squares tool and uh, I'm gonna choose a black color and just create a square like this now with the select tool right click duplicate or you can press ctrl D to do that and drag the drag it towards right highlight both of these shapes and again ctrl D to duplicate them and just drag them over like this selecting all of them duplicating them and uh, putting them in place so basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'll be just filling this big square with these little black ones so highlighting all of them control D to duplicate them and dragging them down so I'm just gonna repeat this process until I fill this square entirely with these small ones so the first letter is R but first I'm just gonna duplicate them and move it right here for now because I'll be using this for the other letters as well I will the select tool and uh, select the shape and hold shift on your keyboard to select even more squares and I'm just gonna create a R letter like this Oh, that's too much and uh, change the color to white I'm just gonna delete this square we don't need this and uh, if you will see this image there is kind of a drop shadow or a 3d effect to it so we'll also be creating that and um, to create that you just select these uh, squares right at the bottom duplicate them and drag them down and from the right side as well you can also just highlight them and uh, they will be selected control D to duplicate and move them like this now I have to delete a square this one so you can just check it like it should go in a diagonal manner and this shape right here just delete it and that's our R letter ready and now highlight all of this duplicate them and drag them over like this and just make sure that you have this gap of one square in between these in between the letters so every time just leave one square of gap between each of these letters now for the E letter we will again with the select tool holding the shift key and uh, selecting the squares with the cropper tool you can press F7 or you can just click right here I'm gonna click on this white color F1 tool or the shape select tool or you can just click right here 
and that's our E letter and for the 3D-ness control D to duplicate bring them down from the right side as well control D to duplicate move it like this now I have to delete from this but not this one just one beneath it just delete them delete this one as well and uh, if you zoom out you will see that it's a nice drop shadow kind of effect to it now next letter is a duplicate this and move it right next to this e letter again I'm leaving a gap between each letters the select tool again I will create the a letter like so with the dropper tool I am going to be changing the color to white delete this shape right here and delete this one as well and for the drop shadow I will duplicate these bottom squares squares at the bottom and from the right side as well now I have to delete this square right here and uh, that's your A letter I suppose yeah and uh, next letter is D so control D to duplicate move it over and um, just with the select tool and clicking on these squares you can click again on this square to deselect the shape and that's your D letter F7 to choose the color white and um, select this shape delete it and uh, again for the drop shadow I will duplicate the shapes and drag them down like this control D to duplicate and move it over like so and uh, there you have the D letter Now, the last one is going to be the Y letter and uh, we'll use again use the select tool to select these squares one by one just take your time and uh, that's how you create the Y letter with the color picker tool choosing the white color and we will delete some squares from this side so there are the five that we need to delete and um, let's create a drop shadow or a 3d effect and uh, from the right side as well Control D duplicate and move them over all right let's delete some squares from this shape and uh, think that's it that's how you create the 8-bit text with Inkscape so go to view and uncheck page grid to remove the grid lines and you will notice that there are these white lines appearing on this text and to fix that I will highlight all of this and uh, 
I will just right click on it and click on duplicate again I'm gonna select them and control Z to duplicate them again and those lines will not be there anymore and again you can go to file document properties and change the background color to any color you want so I guess that's it thanks for watching this tutorial guys I'll see you in the next one oh and by the way if you don't know how to work with other letters you can visit this link and uh, that will help you create other letters so yeah thanks for watching guys